It's simple. <laughs> Nobody likes you. What's going on, everybody? I'm Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, and welcome to the channel. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to view this channel and the content that I put out. If you like the content that I put out and you're really enjoying this, hit that like button right there so this video can be circulated within the YouTube algorithm and so that this material can constantly be recommended to you via YouTube, all right? Thank you if you would do that, all right? And also, don't forget, follow me on all the platforms you see listed up here, down there, and over there, all right? Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, folks, so y'all know I did a video some time ago with Elon Musk and Don Lemon. And Don Lemon got on there, and on his first day on the job, he had one of the biggest interviews he could have ever gotten, which is with the brilliant Elon Musk. Don Lemon completely, completely dug himself in a hole with that interview, got his contract terminated on the first interview, went from that crying to CNN, the company that fired him. He went to the company that fired him to complain to them about how he just got fired. <laughs> anyway, then he goes crying to those witches at The View, trying to make it out like Elon Musk might have been a racist, or Elon Musk might have been a bigot. Elon Musk is, uh, he, wanted, he was mad because Elon Musk didn't censor speech. Now Don Lemon ended up having the freedom to still be on X, formerly known as Twitter, and still do his show and do what he wants to do on the show, right? He's able to do that. He thought that, oh, man, by doing the numbers that I got off of Elon Musk, that these same exact people are going to view and tune in for any other content that he put out. It's not working that way. Why? Because we really were watching it for Elon Musk to see what this interview was going to be about. Usually when you watch people do things like that, they're there for the interviewer, not you, Don. Elon Musk tells everybody, well, he told, you know, he responded by saying they terminated the contract. He said because the way that, uh, the way that Don Lemon presented himself, the way that Don Lemon asked the question, the way that he formulated this interview, he says no different than being on CNN. He don't, it's the same as CNN. Now, people, well, well still, that's, he should be able to do what he wants to. He still can do what he wants to. He just won't be contracted and paid for it. He's like you and I. He just have a Twitter account, and he puts his material out there. That's it, right? Now, of course, we have this info right here. Don Lemon show is in a tailspin. Nobody's watching. Nobody is watching. Don Lemon's new online show is grappling with a fast shrinking audience after he was unceremoniously, unceremoniously dumped by Elon Musk and the pittance in review may not even cover the cost of his bare bones production, the Post has learned. The former CNN anchor who demanded millions of dollars a flight on SpaceX rocket and a cyber truck before being fired by Musk social network X following a testy sit down interview suffered a massive decline in viewers for the second episode of the Don Lemon show. Nobody is watching one media watcher told the post poor Don. He doesn't realize people watched the first interview because of Elon, not him watching the Elon interview reminded everyone of how much they dislike Don. Lemon's second show with tech journalist Kara Swisher, which was posted on X and YouTube last Wednesday, has garnered just 190,000 and 93,000 views, respectively, as of Tuesday morning. That's a fraction of the views from his interview with Musk, posted on both sites in March 18th, which has amassed 2.2 million views on X and 1.2 million views on YouTube as of Tuesday. His interview with Swisher wasn't even reposted by the well-known tech journalist who, like Lemon, has 1.5 million followers on X. She knew it was so bad that she has ditched him and not promoted it, said another media insider. Their cratering viewership has come despite Lemon's whirlwind media tour in the wake of Musk fiasco. He returned to CNN for an interview with Aaron Burnett and made appearances on The View, The Tamron Show Hall, I'm sorry, the Tamron Hall show, <laughs> Dan Abrams podcast to start strong and then immediately fizzle is worse than starting slow and building an audience. The source said neither X nor YouTube provided estimates on lemons earnings. 
The second episode of Don Lemon's show garnered twice the number of impressions and views on X compared to YouTube, according to X. But in contrast to numerous creators who have effectively harnessed the potential of X and its community, the Don Lemon Show did not employ any active advertising strategies to enhance the visibility of its organic posts on the platform and attract new viewers. Active advertising strategies means no paid advertising to boost the post or marketing and advertising efforts. Lemon spokesperson told the post, Don is one week into hosting a brand new show with a distribution model that is in its earliest stage for people who do what he does. Having reached more than 3 million people with his very first episode, it's hard to imagine many content creators like him having a better launch. The rep added, he's thrilled and looks forward to building his audience across all platforms he's working with. Lemon dropped his third episode Monday interviewing Oscar-winning actress Monique and her husband, Sidney Hicks. The show has 68,000 views on X, 7,000 views on YouTube as of Tuesday morning. For Lemon to come close to raking in the salary he made at CNN, estimates at between $4 million and $7 million, he would have to launch a subscription model, get sponsors for his show, or do product placement, according to Alex Taib, a co-founder and CEO of Truth Arts. How you monetize content is through ads, and how you get ads is through eyeballs, Taib told the Post. A source with knowledge of X monetization told the Post, if he got the numbers he got with Musk interview, if he got the numbers he got with Musk interview, he would be considered a low to mid tier creator. And now they're showing here with Mr. Beast. Did y'all see right there, right? And Mr. Beast is a crazy. Mr. Beast is in his own world, his own level on YouTube. He has to be making millions a month. I'm not exaggerating on that. He has to be. He says, my first X video made over $250,000. But it's a bit of a facade. Advertisers saw the attention it was getting and bought ads on my video. I think and thus my revenue per, video, per view is probably higher than what you'd experience, he said. The source was unable to gauge the Lemon's earnings, but look at what successful creators have made. Provide some insights like Mr. Beast. Like it says right there. I just read it off to you guys. Mr. Beast known for his fast paced and high production videos and feature elaborate challenges and large giveaways wrote on X in January that he earned $263,000. $655 thanks to a post that garnered 156.7 million views. I can tell you right now, if, if Mr. Beast got that many views even on YouTube, astronomical amount of money he got. Mr. Beast, who was in 2023 the richest YouTuber earning $120 million from the platform, shared in July 2023 that a video he posted on Google, uh, uh, posted on the Google on site, made $167,000 in ad share revenue after receiving 77 million views in five days. That's all we have right there, folks. The point of all this is that it evens, it, it, it evens the playing field. What Don Lemon is doing right now, having his own show, having his own network, having his own social media platforms in YouTube, X, whatever, he's having to compete with folks like us. And see, not to say that he won't get the numbers because there's going to be some loyal followers that's going to follow him from CNN over to his own platforms. But that don't necessarily mean that people are going to be watching like that. For example, today we hit 410 some thousand subscribers, right? But that does not mean that 410 subscribers are going to be watching my content. All you got to do is look at the numbers. So even if 10% watch it, you're doing good. But that's not even always the issue. It all depends on who you are. If these people that are subscribed to your channel, if YouTube is doing what they're supposed to be doing, putting the notifications out there, letting people know about it, et cetera, et cetera, doesn't mean anything. A lot of times people are so focused on the number of followers you have or subscribers you have and thinking that's going to mean something big when it don't. It's all about the viewership, how long they're watching your channel, if they're just only watching it for a little bit and clicking through. All that stuff matters. If there's ads on the channel, all those things matter, all right? Anyway, sorry, Don. Don't seem like you're uh, putting things out there that people are interested in. Again, you can say that this Elon Musk fall because of you trying to just do this. Are you trying to do that? No. The people are who's going to show us whether you're really putting that content that they're interested in or not. And if those numbers continue to fall, that's not nobody's fault. You can't blame Twitter for that. It's an open platform, free speech. If you're putting your content out there and people are liking it, you're going to get the numbers, plain and simple. But if they're going down, 
You know, just think about some other avenue or something else that you can do to get those numbers back up. What is that? What could that be? I don't know. You've been in this thing a whole lot longer than a lot of us have. You should be the one giving us tips. Anyway, let me know what y'all think about this, ladies and gentlemen, by leaving it in the comments below after this video. Don't forget to hit that like button so this video can be circulated within the YouTube algorithm and constantly be recommended to you. Get into those phones, contact lists, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, whatever it may be. Please DM somebody and encourage them to check this channel out and subscribe to the channel. Let's see what y'all have to say on this one. I am Ty Smith, modern renaissance man. Hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray our last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.